Now, we all want to live as long as possible, but we don't want to look or feel old. Many of us, however, may be inadvertently accelerating our body's ageing process. Our next guest has some great advice. We are thrilled to welcome back acclaimed nutritional biochemist, best-selling author and international speaker, Dr Libby Weaver. Good morning to you. Good morning, Mel. It is always such a pleasure to have you in the studio, and you always have such great advice. Uh, first up, let's talk a little bit about the ageing process. How do we prevent accelerating it. I, yeah, I think after we go through stressful times, I think probably everyone recognises they might age a little bit more rapidly. So it's important people understand it's a natural process, but we don't want to accelerate it. So yeah. the three, scientifically, the three processes through which we age are called oxidation, inflammation and glycation. And without even understanding those, those concepts, a really great first step to begin to undo some of those, the extension of those is uh, in the way that we nourish ourselves. The body needs nutrients, particularly antioxidants that we get mostly from our, our plant foods to mop up the free radicals that oxidation drives. And when it's going on inside of us, that's when it becomes visible on the outside. Okay, which no one wants. So yeah. how do you know if you do need to do a little bit of a detox or something? So detox is a process that goes on inside all of us all day, every day, but common, and it's really how efficiently our body is able to do its critical detox work that our, that our lifestyle choices impact on. So some of the signs your body will give you that it might need need some uh, encouragement and support with the detox processes include fluid retention, PMT, de a debilitating menopause. You wake up uh, really hot between 2 and 4 a.m. quite typically. Uh, cellulite uh, for women, sore and lumpy breasts during their cycle. So there's some common symptoms. There's some real pointers that point out that you might need to uh, assist your body with a bit of a detox. What about your skincare tips? Because what should we put on our skin and what should we be avoiding? Yeah, so uh, the skin is actually an organ. It's not just an outside layer and the cells that create the outside layer that everyone wants to look so lovely, they pick up on the information where they're born and that's all, that all hinders on the nutrients present and also hormonal information. So when we've got lots of antioxidants present, the quality of those skin cells that then arrive at the outside of the body, that has a big impact and I've actually created a new product called Skin Nutrition to really help with the nourishment for the skin. So when those skin cells reach the outside though, they die. So the whole beauty from the outside in concept, it, it, well, it can work. There are things that can penetrate, but when you're making choices like that, you want them to be natural, ideally organic and words that you can recognise. Right, so and looking at it from the from the inside out, what do you recommend that we eat for a healthy skin and hair and nails? So uh, and every all whole real foods because nature gets it right when it comes to food and we've got all the equipment inside of us to break that down. But particularly iron and zinc, they're very important nutrients for, for really good hair, skin and nails. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of women in New Zealand across their childbearing years are actually iron deficient, about 20 to 30 percent. Zinc deficiency is another common nutritional deficiency. Mm. And a big problem that's coming through uh, when I talk to women is that they feel like their hair is falling out too rapidly. And that can be due to iron, to zinc, uh, to hormonal imbalances and even thyroid problems. And I talk about all of that in my new book, The Beauty Guide. Yeah, the hormones have a bit to answer for, don't they? Mm. What about if you are on a bit of a budget and you want to help with your you know your beauty from the inside out what can yep. you do that's that's not going to be really expensive yeah so the way that we breathe has a really big impact on whether we're making lots of stress hormones or not the quickest way to lower stress hormones is actually to diaphragmatically breathe so when we inhale our belly sticks forward and then when we exhale it shrinks back towards our spine that's very calming and that impacts very positively on all the beauty bits and i think joy i think letting ourselves have what we already have in our life connecting to the things that make us joyful for me beauty really is a light in the heart you can see people light up and and that's so beautiful you really can and you've got this new book out the beauty guide your body <laughs> biochemistry and beliefs as well so what is in it and what's it all about what are we going to get out of it so it, of course it covers all the things that people want to know about how to have you know more lustrous hair and clearer skin and lovely strong nails but it delves far deeper than that so there's a there's a big conversation in there about how we perceive ourselves ways to talk to younger women and even younger girls about their self-perception and self-worth and there's a really big uh, just conversation in there about the culture of comparison that we're living among so mm. uh, yeah I think there's a lot of important conversations women need to have about how we see ourselves so that not just for us, but how we pass that on to the next generation. When you talk about that culture of comparison, you're talking about looking at somebody's Instagram stories and everything looks beautiful in their life? Uh, that's part of it, most definitely. I think not that long ago, we probably cared about what five or ten people thought of us. Our parents may be a wonderful teacher, our best friend, whereas now people care about what thousands of people think of mm. them, and a lot of them, those people, they don't even know. So uh, that can really 
bring stress hormones to the surface for people and they don't even realise they're comparing themselves to something that may not even be attainable in mm. nature. Hey, Dr Libby, it's always a pleasure having you in the studio. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Dr Libby's new book is The Beauty Guide and she's currently on tour in New Zealand. The event is called The Hormone Factor and it explores ageing, hormones, beauty and beliefs. You can check out the Dr Libby website for your chance to see her in person.